Hello and welcome. My name is BirdieBot. Let's play some more Dwarf Fortress 42.04. All right, so Lord Varian in the comments section actually described what he thinks is a great idea, and I agree. Creating a danger room. Now, he described it as a five by one room. So I think I'm going to dig it right here. One, two, three, four, five. Sweet. We'll have a little entrance here. It's going to be a tiny, 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 tiny little room. We'll get the dwarves to dig that out. And what we'll do is, in each one of those spaces, we'll set up a weapon trap. Except for, of course, the uh, armor stand that we need to set there. So we'll see how this works out. I've actually never built a danger room before in Dwarf Fortress. So this is going to be super new for me. Uh, we're creating tons of rock doors. And actually, I've set the entire tavern area to be covered in wood. I think it's like apple wood or something like that. Because we need a nice dance floor, you know? We need people, like, hitting their heels on that floor. As well, we've dug out a ton more of our housing. Still hasn't been smoothed out, but you know what? We're going to take care of that, hopefully in the next little while. We've got lots of new migrants. Unfortunately, they're all very busy on this tavern floor. <laughs> this has, like, become their life right now. Taking care of the tavern floor. Looks like we don't have any more silver, so I'm just going to cancel that or remove that. There we go. Ooh, we might not have enough for silver warhammers. Crud. I'm going to remove that as well, and I'm going to add an extra job for copper. The reason we're building warhammers? You just guess. It's because our mayor has decided that's what he wants. If I check nobles and then he, the mayor has a mandate, we can search there and we can see that, yep, make warhammers. Thanks a lot, coupling rhino. But you know what, Warhammers, they're not so bad. Looks like our diggers might be busy. I wonder what they're doing right now. Diggers, miners? <laughs> uh, don't see anybody. We did lose some miners, actually. Uh, Birdiebot was a miner. Um, as well as, I think I had another guy named Digger. Let me just check the, the funeral home down here. Who else did I lose? Birdie bot. Yeah, digger. So we did lose some miners. We lost a lot of people. Oh, man. Some unnamed dwarves. So who cares, right? It doesn't matter. And we can take a look here. Our forges are running smoothly. So some people are trying to construct silver statues. That's interesting. Let me just check the announcements. Oh, yeah. Cooking Mama. Cooked a masterpiece, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Even better than Mama. Looks like, yeah, this guy's still going to try and make this silver statue. The goose? I'm just going to cancel it from his uh, job list. Sorry, bud. You're not doing that anymore. I imagine they just don't have it quite enough to do it. This guy's smelting. Awesome. Gosh, I would love to make more steel bars, but unfortunately, I used all of my iron to make pig iron, forgetting that the other component, other than flux, is normal iron. Aye, birdie bud, you crazy. So we're just going to run the fortress, make sure everything's going smoothly. We've got some nice little weapon traps that are, I'm setting up on either side of the two different drawbridges that are outside. Just in case, you know, you spot someone who is being a brat. Now, interestingly, a lot of these guys are super thirsty as they work. They're not drinking enough. Let's just double check our stocks to make sure that... Okay, no. It's definitely not the fact that we don't have any drink. It's just that they're being lazy. We have 1,700 drink. That's pretty good. I've been using this fortress as a sort of uh, prepared meals situation. I'm going to make some more paper there. Oh, goat brain roast. That sounds delicious. Wow. Wow. Got a couple animals turning into stray adult versions of themselves. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, we're making some mountain goat horn crowns. Beautiful. Yeah, it's times like this when you set back in Dwarf Fortress and you feel like, I'm making it in the world. I'm doing it. <laughs> but that's when your hubris gets you. Your pride. Because, of course, the second you start relaxing in this game, you get... You get, you get raided by invaders. Here's the top level of our fortress. It's quite simple. I mean, nothing to write home about. Uh, all of these walls are fort fortifications, so we can shoot through them. And now I might in the future set up a, 
a patrol area for our ranged dwarves to just sit up there, pluck off a couple arrows. Nothing too fancy. Ooh, a cancellation on a constructed building. I bet that's, yeah, I figured as much. Down here in the tavern, it's difficult because we've got so many loafers hanging a boot and they just stand in the way of the dwarves trying to build the floor underneath them. But I guess that's their prerogative. Now, I have dug out this ridiculous connection to the brook. I feel like this is a bad idea. I don't even think this is such a long tunnel without any power that I don't actually think the water is going to reach to where we need it in our well. So we may have to think of a better solution for that. We may even have to dig to the caverns to get unfrozen water. Because I have seen that error message a couple of times. Uh, the whole, cancels give water, non-accessible. Because of course, this brook is frozen from, for I think for all but two months of the year. Because we're in a little bit of a chilly area. It's really too bad. I would love some fresh water. All right, let's see how we're doing. Yeah, that dig job is just not getting done. Do we not have any diggers? What is going on? Uh, I'm gonna just click over to therapist and see who is our diggers. Mining? Oh, some nameless dudes. What are you doing, bud? You're hauling, uh-uh. No, sir. Guess what you get to do for the rest? Actually, I like burial on. Feels kind of sad if they can't actually bury their friends, basically. Water hauling, sounds good. Cleaning, construction, sure. Deconstruction, road building, meh. Nah. All right, Erst, you're in the ring, baby. You can do it. So hopefully he does decide to turn around and do some mining in the next like couple minutes here. <laughs> As well, I'm hoping that my rock mechanisms are being made. Hmm. Now let's just take a look at our mechanisms area here. No one's actually working on that. Let's double check and make sure our mechanic is relatively unbusy. Unbusy. Ah, uh, these two mechanics, what are they up to? Oh, Lom is doing it. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Just let it go. Ooh, glass I just became a miller. That's interesting. Now we are making pure, <laughs> only uh, the best, the finest for our dwarves. We're making crystal glass goblets. Let's see if we can pump out a couple of those. Oops, easy girl. There we are. Usually we'll end up getting a an error message right away because for making crystal glass, you need uh, ash made into potash, made into pearl ash, and then combined with rock crystal, which I think we still have a good supply of. This has been a great area for that. Hmm. <laughs> Damn this tavern. I knew this floor would be such a pickle. They'll get to it though. They'll figure it out. Look at all these guys dancing. Beautiful dances. Excellent. And as you can see, I've got uh, the beautiful workflow plugin working for me right now. So they're monitoring the stocks and building when necessary. Is that vomit on the table? Yeah, it is. What the heck's going on in here, you guys? Huh. I don't see any reports. Uh, is anyone fighting what the heck's going on why is someone puking in the tavern Ugh, man that's gross hopefully someone will come and clean it up quickly because that doesn't look good you know it doesn't look good <laughs> probably doesn't smell good either all right like a dwarf comic he's just pumping out those cabinets so now the cabinets are all going to our level yeah, our housing level. This actually is completely cleaned up. We still want a chest for each person, which shouldn't be too much of a bother. But as you can see, all these black spaces are where planned cabinets are supposed to go. So what's this guy doing? What are you doing in here? A human bard? He's just chilling out. Great, look at that. Who's this hardworking dwarf? Libash. You're doing great things, Libash. Thanks, thanks. Ooh, our armor stand is complete. Let's see if they've dug out. They still haven't dug it out. What is going on, miners? All right, 
We're going to read dwarves again. Up here in Dwarf Therapist. Who the stink is mining? What are you doing, bud? Construct. Okay, yeah, you're not going to construct buildings either, pal. Buddy. Nope. <laughs> there we go. He better come over here. I'm going to watch that space like a hawk. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. So we'll get that dug out. And then the next step is to create traps do, 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 all the way through. I'm going to build a door right away. And I'm going to build it nice and tight against here. Oh, we could have fancy pants doors. Let's view some of these. Uh, it's a masterfully created andesite door by Dwarf Comic. There's an image of dwarves. The artwork relates to the foundation of the puzzle book. Great. I wonder if we can get one that is military related. <laughs> I realize this is totally unnecessary. Uh, menaces? Ooh, I like the idea of it menacing with some sort of thing. Yeah, okay, we're gonna use this door. You know, because they need a treat. They're special guys. They're gonna be risking life and limb. Oh! Poker Skinny Trail, being the rightful heir, has inherited the position of the Lord of the Band of Embracing. Isn't that interesting? So, I suppose, Poker is, he's a male that is currently living in our fortress. Let me just see if I can hunt him down. Poker, 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 poker. I renamed him because he actually joined our fort a few months ago. He was a human crossbowman? Oh, there he is. Ha ha! Pikeman. Skilled pikeman. He's a lord. Uh, what's his deal? Let's take a look. Just want to take a peek. <laughs> his quote of the day is, I just don't understand these flames of passion people go on about. So he is a citizen of the Speechless Empire. I suppose his family actually passed away. He's prone to great ambition. Let's take a look at his relationships. His father and mother, I suppose, were king and queen, or perhaps just minor lords of the Speechless Empire. So he has now inherited his role. I wonder what that means for us. Like, do we have to do anything special for him? <laughs> I hope not. That is so funny. Well, we'll see how it goes. All right, now hopefully they have moved the armor stand. Nope, not yet. I saw that the ink, excuse me? Interrupted by Cougar Man? Hold the phone. Where is this Cougar Man? I'm just moving here. Uh, <laughs> let's go to units, other. Cougar Man, Cougar Woman. Cougar Woman! gigantic cougar man let's zoom to unit so they're both up here oh no that's just where the man is where's the woman back to units oh that wasn't oi, 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 oi. okay woman 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 where are you woman way up here well let's see what these little fellers do oh looks like the cougar man is being hunted currently Oh boy. Run away, Cougar Man. Get out of there. Who's trying to hunt him right now? Seabrick. Gee, Seabrick. Just let him go. Oh, chasing him off. Quite seriously, too. <gasps> oh no, Tobel's been found dead. Oh no. Cougar Woman. Oh, she's very satisfied. I've improved my fighting. I'm very satisfied. Death. It is truly horrifying. So what did she do? Punch the jeweler? Oh, just punch the snot out of him. All right, Sugar Bear, you're done. You're done. Let's find her. Oh, and she's got a name now. Holy moly. Okay, so she's way up here. Let's get Squad A to come and kill her. And, you know, for that matter, let's make sure that the Cougar Man is also uh, chased off so to speak, just in case. So we're gonna grab squad B, also giving a kill command. And let's 
watch the battle begin. I don't think she's gonna get, I think she's gonna get away, to be honest. I don't, I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna get her, but we're gonna follow her. She's looking a little injured, or maybe she's just covered in blood. She's strolling down nonchalantly. Oh, someone's shooting her. Oh man, who's shooting her? Who's this? Oh, human bowman. So he, he just arrived at the fortress, but uh, he's decided to take matters into his own hands. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, and I think she's incapacitated. Let's view her. We're gonna take a look at her health or her wounds, I guess, in this case. So she's unconscious. Brutal. Girlfriend, that's what you get. Her left lower arm is fractured. Her left lower arm is cut open. Her upper body is cut open and her right true ribs are broken. Gee, sugar. Now, what's the story with this guy? Uh, yeah, he's still being chased. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I should insert some goofy mu music here as he like dances around trying to get away. <laughs> okay, so one of our Mark Dwarves is heading over, trying to perhaps like get in on it. Although I don't think he must have any uh, bolts right now because he's not even shooting. Oh, she's getting everywhere. Come on, buddy. All right, so all the biggies are coming. Oh, easy. What's happening? Oh, more migrants have arrived. Yep, awesome. Come on in, boys. Could always use another hand. All right, so I think taking a look at the logs, yep, our main force has become themselves again, I suppose. So B Dog Blue has become an administrator. What I wish is to become a tavern keeper again, and Urga has become a fish cleaner. Excellent. So that must mean we killed the cougar man or a cougar woman, as the case may be. <laughs> I'm getting them all confused. Let's take a look. Yep, dead body. Excellent. Now, Onus Sanctum Gifted. I've been accepting a lot of bards into our fortress and I'm just noticing the flame rate the frame rate is just clicking down so I think I'm gonna deny this guy sorry pal I'm sure you're excellent but I don't care if it's someone who wants to fight then I'll totally take them but as it stands I just feel like we don't need him oh nurse joy oh <gasps> what so I was actually planning on renaming Nurse Joy. I completely forgot about it to uh, Dr. House. Or no, Dr. Fort. Yeah. <laughs> Based on one of the comments given. That was such a good idea, Manson. That was great. Um, inherited the position of Baroness. Oh dear, of Pikmoon. Does that mean we have to deal with her now? All right, let me just rename her as, as it stands right now. Uh, I'm going to search for her. Nurse... Joy. Hey, girl. I'm gonna rename her. So, view unit. Ow. Now. Now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it in therapist. I'm so much more schooled in therapist than I am. Uh, so we're just going to just scan for her here. I could also search here. Although my eyes are usually pretty decent. There she be. All right. Doctor. Doctor Ford. Get it, Dr. Fort, Dr. House. Oh, ha, ha, it's so silly. But now she's the Baroness. Let's take a look at nobles. Yep. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. But I have prepared for this day, believe it or not. Is she married to anybody? No. It's going to be really interesting. She's also the... Well, I guess she can't be the chief medical dwarf anymore. Oh, she can. Excellent. I really need her to be doing both jobs. So, let's descend down deep into the fortress and head to our fancy pants zone. So, yeah, this is where she's gonna be. I'm gonna build a bed, and hopefully we have something that looks a little snazzy. I'm gonna hit X to expand the list. We're gonna see if we have any, no, it looks like. So these are masterwork uh, beds. <sighs> That's gonna have to do. So it's gonna be your bedroom. We'll need some armor stands. Um, dang it, I was hoping to put that armor stand up here though. So I'm gonna do that. You can't tell me what to do, lady. Yeah. 
We're gonna have to cube some more. Let me do maybe two more zinc armor. Yeah, two of those and queue up another zinc. Oh, <laughs> there we go. I know how to spell zinc. Uh, weapon rack, perfect, and two of those. Seems like they're really flying through the orders. Now, she also needs some fancy pants doors, which we can do pretty simply. Build door, expand that list once we get there. So she's gonna live back here. It's gonna be a real fancy place. Oh, Brittany, come on. Door, yes. Uh, we definitely want the fanciest, the finest. Oh. <laughs> I keep building Floodgate because I'm trying to expand the list. There we go. So that'll add some panaz. Oh, nobles. Uh, looks like we don't have another fancy door. Okay. Now, once they start laying down that furniture, I remember that she also needs, let's take a look at what she needs. Decent office, dining room, a tomb, two chests, Hmm, and cabinets and weapon racks, armor stand. Okay, let's see what we have for coffins. Kind of want a fancy coffin. Uh, This is gonna be her, oh, look at this one. Let's take a peek at this one. Masterfully andesite coffin created by Dwarf Comic. This object is adorned with hanging rings of exceptionally worked milk quartz. Pretty, it's not worth a whole ton though. So we'll see if we can add some containers. This might help. So we'll like pile them up. Oh yeah, look at these. Okay, I'm just gonna view them just to see how they look. Object menaces with some spikes of masterfully worked milk quartz. Wow, milk quartz was like pretty common in this fortress today. Uh, one more on this side. I'm just gonna peek at that one too. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, Brought wow, perfect, okay. So we should see these pieces coming down. I'm just gonna build two more doors. Looks like we don't have any more fancy ones left. Would be nice to add some value once we know how much she needs extra in each room because these are not superbly decorated rooms at this point and they also are not engraved. Oh, what? Cooking mama, pardon me? Did you see that? <laughs> oh no, so one of the benefits of being beside a blissful zone is that you can get unicorns. And I saw our hunters bring one in the other day. Here's a prepared unicorn kidney roast. I would kill to find that. Let's see if we can find it. So I'm gonna go to stocks and I'm gonna go to the fancy pants enhanced view and see if I can't search up a unicorn kidney roast. Oh my, oh my. Okay, I just want to view it. Is there a way I can view this? Do -do 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 -do. Zoom, melt, forbid, uh, shift Z. Oh, it's still sitting there. Maybe? Oh, it's created here. Looks like I've got some clothes sitting there. Creepy. Actually, I'm gonna give it a moment to be, probably it needs to be put away. That's probably what's happening. Unless I go T. Oh no, it's there. Oh, it's there. Whoa, there's a lot of food here. Holy moly. We might be having an issue. All right, let's view this. So it's worth $3,800. This is a stack of 17 masterfully prepared unicorn kidney roasts, created by Cookie Mama. Excellent. So the ingredients are exceptionally minced giant jumping spider meat, superiorly minced giant louse brain, <laughs> masterfully minced prepared giant mole brain, and exceptionally minced prepared unicorn kidney. I don't know about you, but that sounds really bad. Terrible, in fact. It sounds awful. I don't think I would ever want that. Oh, the missing link? He's having trouble constructing, oh, the tavern floor. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> There's poor Marcus Aurelius, still in the hallway, working away his life. I feel bad, we should really think about digging him a nice area. That would probably be the kind thing to do. Just gonna unsuspend some of the activities here that have been kerfuffled by standing patrons. Uh, and we'll probably see pretty quickly what we need more of. Now, back to the noble room. 
I'm gonna start giving these to our lovely lady. So this is gonna be her dining room. Baroness, Dr. Fort. She's gonna have that. Hopefully she'll have that bedroom in a second. This is gonna be her study, or her office, I suppose I should say. Dr. Fort, there you go. And this is intended to be her bedroom, so I still need that bed to come by. And this, of course, is supposed to be your tomb. So we'll just wait a bit. I can be patient. <laughs> Let's see how she likes that so far. She's got an opulent throne room. Holy moly, that was easy. Huh. Was it really that good? Grand throne or er, dining room? Perfect. She's still not in love with her bedroom, but that's because she's just got a no normal bedroom downstairs. And hopefully... We'll get the zinc stuff coming out. Let me just double check and see if that hasn't just flashed by and I haven't been paying attention. Nope, not yet. In fact, I can check in job manager and see that, oh, one of them ha is currently being pumped out in terms of the armor stand. Excellent, excellent. Now back upstairs, let's take a look at this area that we're gonna be building our upright spear traps. If I remember correctly, it's build and then capital T Yes, for trap, and then upright spear and spike traps. What I'm gonna do is see what's necessary here. Okay, so it demands spears. At this point, I definitely don't wanna be putting real, live, dangerous spears in there. What I wanna do is be putting some wooden training spears. So I'm gonna queue up a job for that. Uh, wooden training spears, and I'm gonna say 30 for now. I think it can hold up to 10 or 15 each trap, but I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll just do a second set, because I'm here. Excellent, so let's do another 30. Lon will be delighted. He's our carpenter uh, of the fortress and seems to do a lot of the work. Ooh, Moses is visiting. Excellent. Let's see what these guys are doing in the library. Oh, <laughs> he's constructing a building. That's great. Oh, Sleeping God is reading about daylight and something else. What else are you reading? Daylight in the Seasons. Excellent. It's quite a serious book. Um, a doctor who's visiting is pondering pulmonary medicine. <laughs> Cute. I like, I like the alliteration of that. That's great. Oh, petitions available. Soldiering, heck yes, sir. Welcome. Welcome to the fortress. This is like Hotel California. Some guys, they come and they don't they don't leave. Oh, Jonic, trick friend. Ooh, trustworthy. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds real trustworthy. All right, let's take a look and see. Possible badgers here. Tobel the jeweler. So we do need to make a slab for poor, poor possible badger. Oh, building present? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold a tick. You can see that I'm actually trying to build some extra areas here, like uh, basically flooring, because it was just peat, I think, or clone, clay loam. So I just wanted to get rid of it. But unfortunately, I can't build a slab. So what I'm going to do is, I guess, deconstruct. Yeah, dig. What I'll do is dig. Remove designation? No, remove construction. So forget that. Oh, they're not even built, so I'll queue it. And say, nope, no, no. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Okay, now build Alt S for slab. Place one here, and if I remember correctly, did we do a memorial to this guy? I'm just gonna tab out. Badger, yes we did, excellent. But we do need one for this poor jeweler that got maimed by a cougar. That was so brutal. I kind of felt bad. I was sort of reacting a little nonchalantly to that. Here's our craft dwarfs workshop. So we're going to engrave a memorial slab to Tobel. So sad. And you can see here, it keeps track of who's been engraved, or sorry, what slabs have been engraved and who hasn't. Unfortunately, I think it doesn't quite work for yeah, I have actually made uh, Bully and Mateau engraved, engraved slabs, but uh, doesn't really remember that. Oh, we can even do one for 
Yeah, the cougar. Awesome. Definitely making one for her. She's a bad lady. We're gonna be putting it in our death temple. As you can see, this corner here is dedicated to uh, death. Uh, I actually need a table in there, so I'm gonna build a table. Because of course you have to make a meeting hall, so I'm gonna place it here, and it's gonna be a fancy table. So that we've got a place for anyone who worships death to hang out. I think that'll be a good idea. Hey, Loam, thanks for creating a masterpiece training spear. Doesn't really need to be fancy. Oh, coupling rhino, what do you want now? Uh, let's check our noble mandates. Uh, oh, <laughs> export of floodgates prohibited. I'll get right on that, pal. Let's see. Okay, let's check the noble's quarters. Oh yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna make this a giant bedroom. Assign a bed to Dr. Fort. Dr. Fort. Excellent. And this one. Now, let's see how she thinks that works out for her. Still missing a weapon rack and an armor stand. So let's build those last two. Looks like every other aspect though fulfills her hopes and dreams. Everything's pretty decent. What I might do is add stuff to her quarters since they're only considered fine. That way we're really jazzy. All right, build armor stand. Maybe right against this wall. Yeah, and a weapon rack. Sorry, that's R. Perfect. Excellent. And you know what, guys? This is a great time to let the episode off here. Hooray for not really killing anybody. I mean, any anybody important. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, guys, have an awesome day.